Hello everyone and welcome to the video. I hope you enjoy the beautiful noises of my cat purring and eating my hair while I'm recording this because I cannot get him to leave my lap. Uh, maybe if I stick my microphone up to him, you can hear. That was him. He also just tried to bite the microphone, so that might have not been as peaceful as I hoped it is. But anyway, today we're drawing What's in My Bag, a fun little twist on that challenge that the vloggers and college students do, but I'm drawing it. So I sketched it out first, and I have my signature Read With Pride bag because that is my favorite bag. I use it all the time. I got it from Barnes & Noble it uh, during pride month and i love it and i got my sister one too even though she gets more compliments but she's a teacher so her students love it and i don't leave the house so that's why she gets more compliments even though it's the same bag <laughs> anyway i have a lot of chronic illness items in my bag as you will see so i thought that's also a fun little twist instead of you know normal college student i am a chronically ill person who doesn't leave the house <laughs> and just sells my art at home. So this is what's in my bag as a full-time artist slash chronically ill person. And I sketched out my torn up wallet that I'm really in need of a new one because it is destroyed. <laughs> and I got my EpiPens and I'm sketching my current read right now because I am trying to read as many books as I can this year for my reading journal and if you want to see sneak peeks of that reading journal you can check out my instagram or you can check out my reels on my youtube because at the end of the year i'm gonna do a full read through of that of all the books i read and all the beautiful pictures i drew representing the books right now i'm actually currently reading holding up the world by the author who wrote All the Bright Places, and let me tell you, I am really not a big fan, but I'm trying to finish it anyway. <laughs> and here is the slug at the bottom. That's my fidget slug, and let me tell you, when I walk around in that with my bag in it, it is so loud. If I'm going too fast, you'll just hear like, let me do a sound effect. That's what you hear when I walk. <laughs> Hopefully that isn't too annoying when I w go walking. Uh, I wonder what people think it is. <laughs> uh, then I'm inking now, inking process. This is all done on Procreate if you're curious. And again, I cannot express how much I love this bag. The only thing I found bad about it is that it's a tote bag and everything is just flying around in it. There is a tiny pocket, which is helpful. So I can put my inhaler in it. The thing is, my chamber is too big for the stupid tiny pocket. So I have to, like, if I'm wheezing, I have to, like, dump everything out of my bag and be like, where is it? Um, I luckily haven't used my EpiPens yet. Uh, I did go to a hospital, though, for anaphylactic shock, and they were really mad that I didn't use them. <laughs> so if you think you're having anaphylactic shock or allergic reaction... Just do it anyway, no matter what, because it's better to do it than not do it and die on the way to the hospital. That's basically what they told me. Yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> so here is the bag. I did the white outline. The bag, I think, is pretty spot on to what it looks like in real life. I think they still sell it at Barnes & Noble, even though it's not Pride Month anymore. And I definitely recommend getting it because it's so cute and some of the proceeds, well, some of the money goes to foundations for LGBTQ rights, which is really good because I hate when companies just sell stuff for Pride Month and they're like, yay, we can make money off the gays and not pay them anything. And yeah, I don't like that. That's very rude and... <laughs> Yeah, companies are not good that way. Anyway, the next thing I drew was my inhaler and my chamber. The chamber is basically what I plug my inhaler into so I can get all the air into my lungs instead of it hitting the roof of my mouth. And now 
I'm drawing out my tattered Rollet again. Really need to buy one. And I just don't feel like it. But I really want a cute one. But it has to be big to fit stuff. Because, <laughs> like, I see the tiny ones. The tiny ones are so cute. But I need a big one. And then I have my classic drip drop. Sometimes it's liquid IV. But I usually carry that on me because I have pots, so I need that hydration. But liquid IV is not as good as Strip Drop because they do not admit that they have gluten in it and it causes a lot of people problems because they weren't open about their ingredients. They say there's no gluten, but there is. And I also drew my mask. I have a KN95. I wear it at the hospital sometimes over my regular mask and I still wear it most of the time I don't wear it to the my small local grocery store because I live in the middle of nowhere and there's not that many people there so I only really wear it when I'm in Massachusetts for doctor's appointments and when I'm shopping in mass after my terrible doctor's appointments and here's my band-aids because I got that frail skin so I always carry band-aids on me because I can cut myself on anything. I often cut myself uh, opening Gatorade bottles. That's the most frequent ones. Because <laughs> the ridges tear my hands up. So that sucks. But that's um, the hypermobility life. <laughs> and here is the Song of Achilles. That's one of my favorite reads of this year so far. I didn't understand a lot of it. Because I'm not very smart. Well, that's not a nice way of putting it. <laughs> It was just a lot of language that I wasn't used to. Um, but it was so flipping sad, nearly cried, and I don't really cry at a lot of fictional things. I cry at real life all the time because I'm very sensitive, but I almost cried during a fictional book, and that says a lot for me. Then I drew my charger because everyone needs to carry a charger on them at all times because you never know when your phone's going to die. Just saying. And there's my slug, and it's the black and white slug. My niece always steals it from me, <laughs> and she's very little, so she chews on it. So it gets gross and slobbery very quickly, and I'm always washing it. And yes, I know fidget spinner kind of cringe, but I use it. I need the fidget. I just have to. <laughs> um, there's my putty that I got from physical therapy. Uh, I usually have that on me because you know, I have to work on my hand strength, even though I draw all the time, so you think my hands would be strong, but my left hand isn't that strong, so I need to practice on that all the time, and putty really helps, and there's my emesis bag in the left corner, which just basically translate to vomit bag, and I get those from the hospital, or I order them online for my long trips to the hospital, <laughs> so yeah, I do vomit a lot, so I also do, drew some Zofran under what? which Zofran sometimes helps, it sometimes doesn't, um, is for my nausea. <laughs> and here I am drawing Procreate on my iPad, because that's usually what it's on, and it's kind of funny, because I'm drawing on Procreate, drawing Procreate, so it's like Procreateception, if you will, and that's on my iPad, and I pretty much carry my iPad wherever I go because I like to draw whenever I can and lugging around all my sketchbook materials is often too much. It's nice to have my Apple Pencil and my iPad everywhere with me where I can go because I travel a lot to doctors like four hours away, which sucks, but it's helpful to have that with me to do something to occupy my mind. And here's the finished product. I hope you liked today's video. Kind of short. Uh, I really enjoyed showing you what's in my bag, and uh, if you like the video, consider liking and subscribing. I appreciate it. Love you guys who do follow and subscribe, or whatever you call it. Thank you again. <laughs>